So how did we get here, you're all asking? How did we how did we arrive here today? Well, it was back in 2013 when Amy and Manny's love story first began. Just two single 20-something-year-olds who both ventured over to America to work at Disney World. And it's so fitting that they found each other in the happiest place on earth. After some cheeky banter, some funky dance moves and some persistent offers to cook dinner, Amy and Manny started a Disney romance. I can't think of a more fitting place for two people who bring so much joy and happiness to all of our lives to have found each other. relationship became serious very quickly in my terms <laughs> and Emmanuel would visit Amy in New Zealand quite regularly a month before he moved out he sat us my husband and myself we had a bit of a tension around the house our parents uh, they're yin and yang so mum provides a silent treatment uh, my dad's more of a wooden stick operator uh, <laughs> Not an easy transition for me. I was overwhelmed by worry. Today, you have proven us you are ready, and we are very proud of you. Thank you, Amy, for loving him, caring for him, and understanding him. It's the moment I make it to the promised land. I vow to stop lying that the fact that I love watching trashy TV with you, such as Love Island, Married at First Sight, The Bachelor. I want to be your life doubles partner. I'll bring the laughs, you'll bring the jokes. I'll carry the bags and you tell us where we're going next. Amy, you took a gamble on us and look at us now. Manny, it has been a wild road for the past 10 years, but here we are standing in front of each other today. I promise to tell you which players I see at work as, as long as you continue to be unfazed when I tell you how many of them have walked past me in their speedos. <laughs> Above all else, thank you for taking this chance, beginning a new journey and agreeing to get married in New Zealand today. I will always love you and I look forward to calling you my husband. I'd like to take a moment to remember Amy's mum, Liz. Liz was a perfect mix gentle and kind, and strong and resilient. And she passed all those qualities on to her daughter. Today, you know, Tata is looking down with the biggest smile from ear to ear. Very proud and happy for you. And you know what he would say? Let's have a toast. <laughs> Manny phoned one night, I thought, what's happened? He just wanted to ask for Amy's hand in marriage. I said no twice, of course. He just kept on talking, he was not phased at all. Wedding invitation came around, and I declined that too. <laughs> Gary, thank you for being here and actually doing a speech tonight. I know that was very hard. mentioned that he, uh, we said, oh, if you want to do a speech, you know, if you're comfortable, and then I said, the only thing that matters to me is, you know, you walk me down the aisle, and he's like, do 
I have to do that? I didn't realise that was a thing. My love, don't play those games with me. Oh, yes, I know you're mad at me. I wanna be with you. I need to be with baby. I really, really, really wanna be with you. This was not only the place where Amy and Manny met, but also where Manny was fired and then had his visa cancelled. Yeah. Knew someone was gonna embarrass me. Didn't take very long. Next to me, um, I get to call with my wife, so 